Laminar flow from a water balloon. We're getting started in three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to the Mystery Lab. If you're new to the channel and you love science experiments, then consider subscribing. Click the subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload new videos. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the trending topics on TikTok right now, and that's creating a laminar flow from a water balloon. All right, let me pull out the engineering fluid mechanics book here, and we'll look at what is the definition of a laminar flow. Laminar flow is the uninterrupted flow in a fluid near a solid boundary in which the direction of flow at every point remains constant. And in this experiment, we're going to be trying to create that smooth flow that almost looks like the water is frozen in time using a water balloon. All right, so to do this experiment, we're going to need some balloons, some black electrical tape. We're going to need to use this on the balloon, some scissors to cut the tape, and then some type of device to a puncture of the balloon. I've got razor knives, um, just a regular knife, another, an X-Acto knife blade can work. Um, something like a, a screw or a needle or a nail can also work here. We just need to be able to pop the balloon. And then these are optional items, but something that'll just make the experiment a little bit easier. A bucket or something to catch the water in when we pop the balloon. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to the sink, fill up some of these balloons with water, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, to get started, I've got my balloon full of water here, and I recommend just putting this in a bowl, something to, to help hold it here. And then we're gonna need to cut four pieces of the electrical tape. About two to three inches long is plenty. And then we're gonna position these on the balloon, like into like a hashtag or a pound symbol. Like this, make sure you seal them down up against the balloon. All right, and the important thing is we wanna leave some space like this in between the tape, and that's where we're gonna pop the balloon. Okay, and then I'm gonna position the tray over here to try to catch some of this water so I don't make a huge mess. Okay, we've got the experiment all set up. We've got the balloon positioned over here. We've got the tray to catch the water. And I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife here to pop the balloon. And we're gonna pop the balloon in three, two, one. Whoa, all right, look at that. If we're very careful, we don't move the table and stuff, you can see that the water is really clear right here. If you look very closely, it almost looks like it's frozen in time. I'm gonna move the tray a little bit closer here so I don't make a huge mess. But I can take the knife and I can cut through this. As the balloon gets stuck on the bowl, it's it's causing the balloon to move a little bit. That's what's causing some of those jumps in there. All right, so let's go ahead and try this again and we're gonna do it without putting the balloon in a bowl. Just put it on the counter here. Okay, I'm back and I've got another balloon set up and this time I'm gonna pop it in three, two, one. And I'm gonna move the tray a little bit here so we don't make a giant mess. But you can see if you look right here, look at how cool that is. The water is just flowing out of there. There's no bubbles or anything in the water. It almost looks like it's frozen in time. All right guys, so this is laminar flow from a balloon. Um, it was a really fun experiment. Didn't take that long to set it up. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Gets this video out so more people can see it. And if you like science videos, then please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching.